Mahalo. Ciao, Mama. The situation in our country is absurd. You have three presidents who represent three different people, Croats, Serbs, and Bosniaks. It's really simple. Young people want to leave this country. They don't see any perspective. They don't see any future. Why they should stay here and sacrifice their youth for trying to make something better. Even though the war was 20 years ago, you can still feel uh, the, the problems that it caused. Papa, I'm watching the uh, smoke from the downtown area. Can you tell me, is it in the direction of the presidency? Over. Victor Papa from Victor Scholar One, yes, it's uh, in the direction of the You have uh, three majority groups in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Serbs, Croats and Bosniaks. They are living together because they have to, but I'm not sure they are very happy about it. I don't want to choose sides, because I have three religions in my family, my mom, Catholic, my dad, Muslim, and my grandmother, Orthodox. So I see things maybe differently than, than others. I have finished political science, but I don't want to be a part of politics. I just want to do what I do best. I want to work, uh, no matter what my name is, or my last name, or my ethnic group, or my religion. Gdje je ona? Aha, ma zove mi nako ovaj, da kažem, da ću vam brzo. I was working as a weather girl at the television of Republic of Srpska. I was working there for two months and everything was okay until one day my editor called me in her office and asked me about what ethnical and religious group that I belong. And I answered to her that I'm a human being. But she asked me that because of my last name. It's not a typical Serb last name. She wanted to know uh, what my dad is, and I also told her that he's a human being. And after that, she told me, like, okay, go back to your place and continue working. And uh, three days uh, after that, I got fired. I got fired because she knew that I'm a Bosnian. My name and my last name told her that, and I got fired. In the last two years, I started researching and I became actually aware in what type of country I'm living. It is important how my generation and our children will, will look at the previous war because children are already learning different histories.
so this is my grandfather. Maybe this was the last time that they see each other. My grandfather was found in 2007, but my family and me still do not know what happened. There are different stories that he was buried, that they cut his tongue. You have many cases. Five of my friends in, in the last uh, four months, they moved from this city to, to Munich, to, to, to Vienna, to, to, you know, to London. So basically, whoever has a chance to leave, he's, he's leaving. It's rather hopeless because all the pathways that would open a young person's mind sort of towards the world and towards new ideas are totally closed. So, and they're closed with the school system, which is segregated. Uh, they're, they're closed with the political system, which is very corrupt. And then they're closed mm -hmm. with the economic system, which is completely destroyed. So all those three key points are really working against the young people. honest, I find it really difficult to understand how it works with the different religious groups. Then yeah. you have like the ethnicity. I, I don't get it. I know nobody, nobody can get it. Only we, we can, we can understand it because we're used to. But, but, so. but what do you, how do you feel? What, do you, what are you? Once again, I, I just don't want to be a part of any group because when you are a part of one group, you automatically uh, cross over the other twos. And I don't want to cross anybody. I just want to be, is it possible to be just a regular human being? Is it possible to say that, who are you? I'm Maya and I'm a human being. I would like to say that, to write that everywhere on my ID. What are you? I'm a human being. I want to leave. I want to find a system who will give me a chance to work. Eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, but give me opportunity to work and show what I can do. Definitely, I don't want to be in America, if she decided to do it. Moju podršku imam u svemu, kao i do sada. Pa gdje sam gledala, koliko godina ne radim? Znači imamo, kupili smo svoje, nismo kredite dizali, prodali svoje, imamo ono što imamo zadovoljni. Nismo gladni, priluštice, sve imaš auto, počela srati. I zašto čemu odlazak u Ameriku, da te sad mama plesne pred kamerom, pa da ti ja kažem ko je ko. She is trying to explain all those things, not to be, not to want to go to America. She say we, we have a house, we have a decent way of life. I have a car, I got a university degree, now I have a job, I have hobbies. And she's asking me again, why do you want to leave to America? <laughs> Most 
people here didn't recover from war yet. They are still living in some kind of fear from different ethnic groups here. Mm -hmm. As long as people see each other like, okay, we're Muslims, they're Serbs, they're Croatians, it's always going to be tensions, it's always going to be problems. And it's just stuff like that that gets me really mad. And it really gets me, okay, I don't want to live here. I don't want my child to live here. I don't, I don't, like, that's one of the major parts. I don't want my child tomorrow to have that same kind of thinking. I'm not sure, but I'm not, like, a person who wants to run away from here. But also, I think that abroad is more. More potential. More potential and more opportunities and more people who appreciate what you do and uh, people who are trying to do something. But I think that I would do something to help this country. Now, what would keep you here? Family, boyfriend, I don't know. Do no, you, I know. Do you see yourself raising a child here in Bosnia? Seriously? Yes. Why? Why not? Because the country is pretty much falling apart, economically looking. I, I told you, I, I don't plan, I don't know so just will I have kids. a child or not. I, I'm uh -huh. still 21, I don't know. In order for me to stay here, you know, the only possibility and the only condition to, to stay here is to try to change things and try to create something new. That is the, the, the biggest reason why I stay here and why I'm involved in, in this uh, youth cultural center, because I think that uh, this can be a really strong place in the center of the city. And from, from this place, a lot of uh, positive energy ideas and things can, you know, spread around the city. So I think, you know, we should uh, try to make the city healthier from inside. So that is like the most important reason why I'm here. last two years I started going on discussions, on seminars, listening people talking about peace building. But there was a lady who asked me, why are you going on such discussions? You are young. You shouldn't be aware of such things. I told her that I want to be aware of these things. It is my past, and you need to research about your past to actually meet yourself. We are. Um, mixing uh, the question of nationality and yes, religion and, religion and, and we'll religion. people here are just trying to connect those two even though it doesn't matter yeah. you and if you uh, do not think the same way as they do they think that you are rejecting your your nation your uh, nationality your religion your uh, friends your family and that's not the case you don't, you don't have to prove it you know you don't have to prove your love to your people you just have to do what you want to do in your life and i think we are missing the 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 sentence here, you know, live and that let live. I have a good salary and a good job, but I just can't see myself here, yeah. culturally and socially. And people are stuck with the story of uh, three ethnic groups, and yeah, I the just tension and the post-war situation. Definitely. So I think the best solution is just just to pack your bags and go. You know, 
young people are just uh, frustrated and they are fed up with you know fake promises of the politicians uh, and of the fake promises of better future. So why are you not leaving? Because I'm a fool and I still believe that uh, something can be changed and I owe that to and I owe that to, to myself. You know because it's in order to, to change something you just need to have to take responsibility in your own hands. You know. I'm sick of the fact that people are looking at Bosnia and Herzegovina as the war country. The situation in our country has changed, but also the situation is not close to a perfect situation. Twenty years later, we just want to leave past where it belongs in the past and just exactly. look to the future. Exactly. So uh, we are like right, right part of this country. Yeah, the, maybe we are the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. But this light is gonna go to America. Uh, well, maybe we can we maybe come back, you know, you never know. You see this artificial lights yeah. and you have the moon. Yeah. And do you think that maybe the moon could shine more in future in this country?